Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I will talk about a topic that was requested multiple times in the comments already. Um, and it is how to build a control panel or trading panel or however you want to call it in the MetaTrader 5. And I think I will split this um, series into multiple parts, maybe two or three parts. In the first part, I'm not sure if we will be even programming because if you want to understand how control panels work, you kind of have to understand how they are set up or built in the MetaTrader 5. And the easiest way to learn something new in the MetaTrader 5, if you never worked with it before, is to just Google it. And this is what I always do if I want to achieve some something specific in the MetaTrader 5. I just go to Google and write something like control panel uh, MQL5, something like this. And you will find results for this specific question or for this specific topic. Here, for example, if I click on the very first link and if I open it, wait, let me switch this to English. Um, you can see I will find the classes for creating control panels and dialogues. And this is exactly what we will need to build these beautiful control panels that you can like drag and drop and where you can click buttons and where you can even minimize it, maximize it, where you can have scroll bars. So this is like the, the base for everything. And you can see there are even more related articles that are linked here that you can read and they will tell you exactly what to do. So this is why programming is not, it's not really hard. You just have to do some research and especially building uh, graphical panels is super, super easy because there's not really any math involved. You don't have to be really clever, intelligent. You just have to read this article and it tells you all you have to know. So you can see this is like the article that tells you exactly how to build graphical panels. And you can see it also explains all the classes that you need and everything. So everything is documented in a really, really great way. And you will find some graphics like this or some animations like this, which is really great because you will see how these graphical objects in the chart, how they are built. And for example, like the app window is um, just built from like rectangles and edits and stuff like this. So if we have a look at the chart here where the controls um, demo control panel here is, uh, is, is activated and if I right click and if I click on object list <clears throat> and if I click on list all, you will see that we will see a lot of easy or simple objects like for example we'll find a rectangle label we'll find another rectangle label we'll find a edit we'll find a bitmap label we'll find a rectangle label bitmap label we'll find buttons we will find edits and these are the objects that are used to build this controls uh, control um yeah object here so we will have a look at this uh, in a second, but first of all, let's get back here. So here in this article in the MQL5 documentation, you will find all the classes for creating control panels and dialogues. And these classes are part of the MQL5 framework. So if you download and install the MetaTrader 5, you should have access to all of these um, classes. So let's maybe let's let's start programming and let's start building a really really simple application here. So let's get back to the MetaTrader 5. I will now close this controls demo and you can see if I now try to look at the objects they're no longer there because I removed them from the chart. So let's start building our own um, uh, control or trading panel. So we will go to tools, MetaQuartz language editor. If you want to write a new program, then in the upper left corner, click on new expert advisor template is selected. We click on next and then we write trading panel, YouTube. You can just choose any name for the program. Click on next, next and finish. And that's pretty much it. What I want to do here is I want to delete the first lines, which are some comments and the properties because we don't really need them. And in this video, I cannot explain the, the 
absolute base uh, basics about programming, of course, because it's a little bit advanced. We will need object-oriented programming. And I will just um, assume that you wrote one or two programs before or that you watched one or two tutorials on this channel already. If you want to learn MQL5 programming, like from zero to a more advanced level, um, and if you don't have a lot of programming knowledge already, you can always check out the link below this video and you will find a link to my complete course where I teach everything in, in complete detail and really in a, in, a slow, uh, in a slow way so everyone's able to, to pick up everything. So what you should do if you want to write your own uh, or your first trading panel is you should really have a look at this article here. And you will see, if you read through it, you can see like there are different topics, for example, creating a panel based on C app dialog. And yeah, if you have a look at this, you can read some more about this. And it tells you, what it tells you like is um, that you can choose this dialog or C app dialog as a container for all of the following um controls in your application. So what we want to do here in our code is we want to include the dialog class. So include controls <coughs> dialog mqh. And if we compile this, you can see we included a lot of files here. And where, where can we find these files? Um, if you go to the navigator in the MQL5 um, or the MetaTrader 5 um, uh, meta editor, you will find this include folder and here you will find the subfolder controls and this is the subfolder where we will find all the controls that are available by default in the MetaTrader 5 to build beautiful trading panels and here we will find the dialog.mqh um, file so if we open it you can see this file includes some more files and in the end, it has the definition for the C dialog class. And if we go all the way down a bit, we, we will find not only the C dialog class, but also the C app dialog class, which inherits from C dialog. So this construct is a little bit more complex and I cannot like explain it in one or two sentences, of course. But what we have to know is this C app dialog is the main dialog box for every MQL5 application. Or this is, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but the easiest way to build a application is to use this C app dialog class. And since we included the dialog.mqh file in our own program now, we have access to this C app dialog class. So we can build a, <clears throat> or we can have a uh, C app dialog type object variable, which I will call app. And now I can go ahead and go to the on init and I can say app.create. This is a function which is part of the, um, uh, I think it's part of the C dialog class. Yeah, you will find create here. <clears throat> and you can see this create class, it calls a lot of different uh, other uh, functions here and it will just create a lot of objects in the chart. So if we use this create um, function, we can choose the chart where we want to create the object. Usually it's zero to choose the chart where the expert advisor is attached to. Then we can choose a name and here there are different approaches. I mean, you could just um, choose a name here like a demo app and this would be the name for your program. Another good idea is to, um, to use defines for this, where you can say something like um, app name, and then you define the name here. So if you want to change the name quickly, you can just change it, change it here later on. Um, but I mean, both uh, are valid uh, options, like, um, like what, what, what you want to do. Or we can say um, panel name. This would make more sense, I think. Panel name, something like this. And then we choose the sub window. It's usually zero for the, for the main chart window. And then we choose the coordinates. And here we have um, x1, x2, which could be just 0, 0 or 2020. 20. 
it, it will start in the upper left corner. So we are just defining where to draw this object. And if we choose 20, 20, we go 20 down and 20 to the right. So the x-axis is, of course, the horizontal axis and the y-axis is the uh, vertical axis. So we can just define the pixels. And then we have two more um, x and y coordinates. And this is uh, actually the width and the height. So if we choose a width of um, 200, I mean, we could also like um, define it here. We could say panel width, which would be 200. And we can say panel height, which could be 500 or 300 or whatever. And now we can say um, 20 plus panel width and 20 plus panel height, something like this. And if we like close the uh, parameter list here and add the semicolon, this is the complete line. So if we compile this and if we run the program on the chart, uh, wait, let me do this. <clears throat> Where is it? Um, I think it's trading panel YouTube. So if we compile the program in the meta editor here, it should be available in the MetaTrader. So in the MetaTrader, go to the navigator, find the program that we created, trading panel YouTube, drag and drop it onto any chart. And if we click on OK, you can see this trading panel. The demo app is now created and it works just fine. I mean, no, it does not work just fine. If I click the buttons, uh, nothing really happens. But um, you can see the, the objects are created. And if we now right click and click on object list, you can see if we list all that it is not one single object that we create, but instead we will create a lot of different objects like the rectangle label, two times actually, like one for the big background, another one for the like working area, which is a little bit um, or looks a little bit like to the front. Then we have edits, like for example, for the name and you can see like the value or the description is demo app, which is the name that we chose. Then we have bitmap labels. I think this is the close button. And we have another rectangle label. We have another bitmap label. So you can see this, um, this um, application or this uh, dialogue is, is built from multiple objects. And these objects are actually the, the basic objects that we used before in other tutorials that you can create using the object create function. So if we have a look at the C app dialog class again, <coughs> you can see if we find the create class here. Um, wait, no, I want to go to the, uh, the create function from the C app class. So you can see if we have, um, if we call it the C window container create function and if I move my cursor inside of this create and if I click, if I click Alt and G on my keyboard, we can switch to we can switch to this definition here mm. and nope this is not really what i wanted i think wait let me search for it let me go here create here c window container or oh, let's go here to the create background um, I want to find the function where it actually creates the most basic chart object. I think it's here because it says create chart object. So let's go here. And yeah, you can see like if you just uh, go down the, uh, the, the, um, in the hierarchy of these uh, objects and if you find like the most basic uh, or the, the most basic classes, you will at some point find functions like this. This is the object create function, which is like one of the most basic functions, uh, which is part of the MQL5 framework. So you can see if we have a look at this in the reference, the object create function just creates a really basic object. And everything is based on the functions that are part of the MQL5 frameworks. And you can always identify them because they have this violet um, color. So all of these classes that we use, like the C dialog, the C panel, the C chart object, whatever classes, in the end, 
They just use the most basic functions that are part of the MQL5 framework. And one of them is the object create function, which creates objects like the ones that we found here in the chart now, like the rectangle label, the edit, the bitmap label. Because if we have a look again at the, at the, um, at the documentation or the reference here, let's go to object create, we will see that these objects are all listed here. So they are the most basic objects and they are the objects that are part of the MQL5 framework. And yeah, so these trading panel classes like um, the dialog class and stuff like this, they are just um, built on top of the most basic components of MQL5 programming. So they just make working with um, these objects or chart objects a lot easier. I mean, you you don't have to use this. Um, you don't have to use the include dialog.mqh file. You don't have to do this. You could build everything on your own. You could build every. You you could create every single rectangle label. You could create uh, or uh, create every single edit. You could create every single button and everything in the chart on your own. But working with this uh, with these uh, C control um, object, um, 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 yeah, with, with these classes is just a lot easier because they take away a lot of the work from you. So this is how to understand the control classes, the C control classes that we have in the MetaTrader 5 in the include folder by default. And again, if you want to really want to understand how everything is built on top of each other, uh, on, on top of um, each other object also, you can just read this because you can see, for example, here you can see how this app window is built. Like you have a background, you have another background, or you have a border, you have another background, you have a client bag, whatever, you have a caption and stuff. And everything is explained here. So you can see exactly how all of these um, objects interact with each other, other. So you will find a explanation here. And this is what I tried to explain to you before. But I think if you have a look at this article, you might exp uh, understand it even easier because there are a lot of good um, graphics to really, to really show you how everything is built on top of each other. Okay, so this is it for now. I think this was a uh, first introduction. So in the next video, we will have a look at this program again and we will have to add some functionalities because right now what we did here is we just created a lot of objects in the chart but these objects don't do anything so it's not really useful to us so what we will have to do is we will have to add more objects we will have to add functionalities so if we like move around the window we, we, we want something to happen we want to add buttons we want these buttons to do something like open orders close orders and stuff like this so we will have one or two more videos in this series so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and like the video if you appreciate the content so in the end um Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades. See you next time. Bye-bye. Um,